This morning, City Vernon officially opened its aquaponics greenhouse, marking an exciting new chapter in its academic journey. The project blends science, sustainability, and hands-on learning, giving students a chance to explore modern farming right on campus. The initiative was made possible thanks to support from the business community and the Ministry of Education and is being led by English teacher Malak Middleton along with her enthusiastic second form students. Together they're proving that with teamwork and vision even a classroom can become a farm. So I wanted to find a way because I teach them English I wanted to find a way how I could bring a little agriculture into the school setting. So when we came upon our formal letter writing we decided to use that as a vehicle to engage students in writing and also having a physical aspect to a little production that they can see um, how they can possibly open their own small business or bring it to their communities at the end. Before construction began, Milton students had to first engage in writing a formal letter of request to businesses within their community. Through this process, they sharpened their writing skills and the response from the business community was favorable. At first, I had to go over the parts of that letter with them. We had to work towards making sure that they know what um, the tone of the message is, what to put in that letter, and then we got them started on that. So we worked together to compose what we needed them to have in that letter. Teacher Middleton's classroom isn't just about theory, it's about action. Her students didn't just learn how to write formal letters, they used those skills to reach out to local businesses, who responded by donating the materials needed to build an aquaponic system. Instead of relaxing over their two-week Easter break, these dedicated second farmers rolled up their sleeves and got to work, building the system right on their school grounds. For students like Jocelyn Sanchez, the experience was unforgettable. She now knows how to write professional requests and how to grow food using aquaponics. There's many things about her aquaponics, but what I learned, um, the waste from the fish leads from one tube to the motor. Then there's another pipe that leads to the, the barrel that funnels the water. Then the water go, goes to the... It goes to the stones. The stones release waste, and that's where if the plants feeds on and then it's just a daily basis cycle that's a cycle that goes on and on and on and from the plants we can feed off and the fishes as well so so what so it's a, it's a cycle and basically it starts with the waste from, from the fish it starts on waste from the fish isn't it incredible that uh, the waste that we would normally see like hmm, that disgusting that it helps to produce our food Yes, it's amazing. First I thought it was like nasty, but when I come to learn about it, it's it's amazing. I couldn't believe it myself. It was it was kind of hard, but as I was doing it with my classmates, they made it a lot more easier for me to do it, and it was fun as well. Principal Deborah Martin says the now fully operational aquaponics farming system on campus as to the quality of education and student life offered by the high school. It's definitely helping to improve our brand at City of Vernon Technical High School and of course the quality of education. We are teaching them to focus on sustainable development and working along with their community because as our teacher said a little while ago, the aquaponics is embedded in the idea of providing things for yourself and then eventually sharing it with your community. The school says it hopes to replicate this theory to application approach across all levels on campus. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Opus.